Hello, good morning, good people. So, it's another beautiful day that we have, and we just have to thank God first for it. So, today I want to talk to us about how you can take loans and make sure that you don't suffer from these loans. And make sure that these loans don't like lead you to like giving up on your everything, your properties, like the banks coming for for your properties and everything in your homes and living with nothing. Okay, so first before you take a loan, you have to check what business you wanna put it in. If you take a loan and you wanna have fun with it, so you have to check on your lifestyle and you have to change. In fact, you need deliverance. Uh, if you take in a loan to pay your rent, that's also very wrong because then it's not gonna make anything. If you take in a loan to go make, go take someone out, Please, you have to go also and check on your lifestyle because that doesn't make sense at all. But if you're taking a loan to put on a business, you have to check which type of business you're going to put on this money. You have to check what is the dividend, what, what are you going to get from this loan. So let's say, for example, if you take a loan that has an interest of 13%, you have to make sure that you have a, a, you, whatever you're going to put the money in will give you at least 20 or 18%. Because if you take, let's say, if you get 10%, because then you'll be working for the bank. But if you get 20%, you'll be working with the bank, but not for the bank. You see what I'm saying? So, uh, the, uh, loans are not bad. They're really good. And uh, giving a loan is like giving someone a, a gun which is loaded. If you give someone a gun which is loaded, you're, you're either making them safe, you're making their surroundings safe, if they're sane, if they're of sane mind. But if you're not safe, you're making them unsafe. You're putting them in danger. In fact, you're putting the lives of people that live around them also in danger. So this is like uh, it's like giving just a sharp knife to a drunk man or, or, or a small baby. You know, this knife can be good or can be, can be bad. So loans are good because, you know, every time we, not, we, we can't do everything. You cannot have ideas and at the same time, at the same time also have money to do put into ideas. You cannot be willing to have reason the time. You know, we are always at this other at a time doing something that we could be doing better if we had any something better. You know, I don't know if you understand me. Like, there's always there's something missing between uh, uh, getting to your place and it's to the place where you. Go, I mean, between going to a place you're going to. And the place you're supposed to be there, there's always something missing. There's always, there's always like a small gap. So if you don't have the capital and you want to start your business, it's good to go to the bank and show them what you're doing and uh, sell out your ideas to people can to investors that can invest in you in that idea, and they can take you from uh, from that point to a better place. And what I'm trying to say is, anything you want to do is possible, and you can do it really well if you decide to do it. But I want to tell you something. Also, you must know that everything that comes to odds of success has to start with risk and you know the bigger the risk the higher the chances of winning the higher the chances of lo losing you know but if you have money like, like if you have money and you want to invest you know, i mean so you don't need a loan you have money and you want to invest it's just take like you have a hundred dollars and you want to invest so you don't put all hundred dollars in, into the business you can put like forty dollars in business then you can have sixty dollars as a security as a backup where you bounce back to. Uh, what I'm saying is, you keep this $60 to, as a backup that will back up the business. And then the 40% will be used to run the business and see how the business works. Because, you know, at times it takes a lot of time for business to catch up. You know, sometimes it can take even six months, you know, that's half an year. But if you're not patient, it's going to make you, you're going to lose hope and maybe you can stop. And if you had invested all the money in this business, then you know you have nowhere to go. So the thing is, if you're starting, if you're a beginner, if you're starting, please, it's advisable not to put all your money in that business. Okay, as we continue, have you subscribed? Have you liked this video? Kindly, if you haven't, do so as we continue. Okay, so uh, the other thing about um, business and loans is that uh, once you start to get the money back, I think the best thing is to pay the loan. Because then if, you, if, you, if, if your credit history is good, you're able to even get bigger money and you know the, the bigger the uh, the bigger the hustle the better because then you're making better moves and you are actually taking a step forward of your life that's the thing but if you're just going small every day okay small is really easy 
I can say. And um, big is some sometimes somehow some kind of uh, some, somehow some way complicated because then if you have a big company of ten thousand workers, at times you don't even know your employees. But if you are if you have just one employee, it's easy because you're there, you're here, you're running to the clients, you're coming back to the clients, you with him, you know. If it's late, you know. If it's not, if it's not, if, if it's not, if it's not performing, you know. But if you have like twenty thousand employees, you don't know even you don't even know some of your employees. You someone say, Alexa. Uh, I just brought uh, and you say who are you? I'm your employee. Oh, okay. Because you don't know, man. But the thing is, if you go small, you're able to run it by yourself, and it's easier. But I think, I believe big guys better because if you go big, then you create employ employment for others. You you make the make life better for others too. Then I think that makes a lot of sense. Okay, guys, that's that's on how to make to make use of loan and to see that you can acquire something that you don't have. And make something that you want to have and return it to the bank you know so um, what i'm going to say is loan is not something bad uh i can say, let, let me just make it a, a better way though. so loan is the bank will give you this money and name and uh, oh, so you go to the bank the bank check on your on your risk if you're if you are a risk if your risk is a good risk then the bank will give you this money and they will put a little amount of money on top of it so this money that we put on it will be called as interest, but just a little. I mean, it could be ten percent of that money, but then it it will be meaningful. It will be meaningful for you to have that money and do that business, create employment for people, bring something on the table for you, put something in your pocket. You know, I mean, do the money game. I mean, take uh, take that note, change it to notes. You know, make some coins on it. To, you know, like try to make the money roll. That's what we do, man. So uh, what I'm gonna say, what I'm going to add you is that. Don't shy away from taking loans as long as you have the chance to, please do. And um, uh, something I want to say about uh, uh, you to who start business. Most of the time you go to the, uh, we, I, I've, I, I was talking to a bank manager and he told me that most young people start businesses but they don't keep records. If you don't keep records, how are you going to keep track of your business? You know, some some of us, we have business but we don't know how much money we started with this business with. You know, like, you don't know the, the starting capital. And, you know, it's, it's really sad that you don't know how you started that business. And so someone is scared to put to take you as a risk because they don't know how you're going to manage this money, how you, you're going to run. They don't even know if you've been running this money, this business from your own pocket or this business has been running itself. But if you have record, they can see that this business is going this way. It's been up and down. But then at least there's something, there's, there are changes, there's, there's constantly in, in the figures. But if you don't have the records, it's not easy for someone to, like, trust you and put the money in you i mean you're not a good risk but if you have a business please try as much as possible and put on records write records write time write uh, purchases sales write profits write buying prices and you see do these things i mean put the figures down so that when you go to someone you tell them this is my business and this is from this is day one and this is how i did the purchases this is how i bought assets other abilities and stuff on all that things if someone is able to invest in your business because they know you're a good risk but they don't if they don't know you're a good or a bad risk it's not easy to invest if i tell you that i'm a bad risk would you invest in me okay if someone tells you that i'm a bad risk would you invest in me no but if you see in my records that i'm a good risk you can invest in me. But if you see in my records that I've not been a good risk, but there are chances that I can be a better risk, you can risk something, at least not big, but at least something that you know can push me to make me to be to, to be like a better a better risk. So I'm you know I am just trying to tell you guys that you can be a better risk if you want to. And uh, the only way to do that is put your business into records, go to books, put your business into papers, put the put those figures down, you know. Try to do do the multiplication minus you know do the addition all that and you say you're gonna be the best risk and every bank is gonna be looking for you you know let me tell you something I have a friend of mine who wanted to start a, a bicycle business so he went to the banks almost everywhere in in his city and no bank would give him money they say we don't know you we don't have the records we don't know if you're a good risk or a bad risk we don't know if you want to make party we don't know if you want to go on holiday so we can't give you money. So what he did, what this guy did came back to his family and friends borrowed money and started a business. And after two years, he had like three stores of bicycles in every city in his country. And you know so every now every bank was coming to him. Yo, please can we can we give you money? Can can we can we can we, can we let you grow bigger? You see, because this guy knows what he wants and he's becoming a better risk now.
So what I'm telling you is, you can't go to someone and tell them, I want to do business. Because they don't know you. They don't know your life lifestyle. You know, they, they can't even have the, an audit of your lifestyle. But, you know, if you keep records of your business, it, this guy says, oh, okay, this guy's price this with this amount. They take with this amount. Okay, X plus Y. Then they get it. See what I'm saying? Like, algebraic equation. You get to know someone by the audit. Yeah, so the thing is, if you are uh, an entrepreneur and you have an idea of starting business, kindly put it on records. Make a nice, clean record. Keep this. I know that, that that record will help you some days. Some days you're going to need someone to to invest in you. To, I mean, you're going to be looking for investors, and that is your security. In the same way, let's say I work in a, a, an electric, uh, let's just say in a, in a plumbing company, yeah? But then I don't have papers. Then maybe I work in, let's say, like uh, New Zealand, okay? So I work in New Zealand, and I don't have the papers, but I work in an electric company, okay? Then one day I just leave the New, I leave New, New Zealand, and I go to maybe SA, South Africa. And then I get to South Africa, and then I start saying, ah, I used to work in an electric, in a plumbing company. Would you give me a job? How would they know that I was working? They don't need, they're going to need papers. The papers are going to show that this guy has been working as a... Uh, as a blah blah and this guy is uh, has, has studied from this state to this you know from this degree to this degree and this guy has papers of good conduct you see this is the only thing that's gonna take you out so guys the thing is we need paper we need records we need audit we need to put down everything that we do if you want to do business and you you just studied maybe it's just twenty thousand fifty thousand sixty dollars whatever just name it man but you need to record you need to put it down on paper Okay, thank you so much for viewing. Uh, I know maybe it's a little bit serious, but then you know what? When we're talking money, you gotta be serious, you know, because Peppa is <laughs> Peppa is real, man. You know, so I just want to wish you a beautiful and blessed day. Thank you so much. Uh, one more thing, guys. Uh, the most very important thing is kindly just put God first, trust in God, and everything's gonna be just all right. You know, man, God is working a lot of things. A lot of miracles in our lives. Thank you so much, guys. Appreciate you for taking your time and listening on how you can handle loans and make yourself a better race. Thank you so much.